Kia ora, I'm Jordan. Hey, I'm Zara, and the game we're playing today is Ho Kutatia Te Oma Smash and Run. Today's key focus is running, throwing, and fielding, and this is level two of three. Let's go. Smash and Run is suitable for any size group and can be played at home. You'll need bats, balls, cones, and wickets. First, arrange cones in an area with a set of wickets at each end. The cones should be spaced evenly, like one at five metres, one at 10 metres, and one at 15, for example. Split the smashies into small teams. There should be two batters at a time, with at least one wicketkeeper and two fielders standing behind a distance cone. Once a ball is hit, the two batters run to a cone of their choice and back to their wickets, while the fielders try to run them out. If the batters make it back safely, they score runs equal to the distance of the cone that they ran to. Swap the batters after each run and swap the roles within the teams as often as possible. This game develops perception skills. Honesty or pono is a good value for smashies to think about when playing. Point this out at the start of the game and ask them how honest they were when the game is finished. To make the game easier, you can shorten the running distance. Or, to make it harder, you can get the smashy batters to nominate a cone to run to before facing a delivery. Want to bring gaming into it? Use your imagination. Create a boss battle where you and some helpers take on the smashies. Ask the smashies positive questions that help with their own understanding. For more awesome ideas, check the game resource.